Knights Assemble. It's time for another Magnus Answers. Now, I got this email today, and it was funny because I actually noticed what was going on with this email um, a few months ago. Uh, let me read this to you, all right? It says, hello, Tyrone. I watched your video about women not liking nice guys, and I'm pretty sure this is super late, but since I'm basically being bullied for a few of my comments, I decided to propose a different question for you. Do you think a man can be too nice? And what's your definition of this? I'm asking this because my response to your video was that I don't like a man that is too nice because I believe they're easily stepped on. One reason by a guy, one response by a guy uh, named Circle Bill One basically stated my opinion on this matter is idiotic and I'm one of the women who shun away nice guys and deserve to be treated badly. I don't see how true that is because I do have a boyfriend. He's nice and he's not too nice. And we are actually very happy. Was I in the wrong? And what's your take on this? Thanks. So you know, I saw this little battle going on with you two for a while. Um, I was actually about to block both of you because some of the comments that I get aren't directed at me, but they still come to my inbox, which is weird. And I saw what was going on, not that I got anything against y'all, but it was really irritating me that y'all were going through that. And I could see your comments, I could see his, and I was like, it seemed as if he had went through some stuff. He might have been hurt by some women, maybe having a hard time finding a girl. I don't know if that's true or not, man, if you're watching this. So I'm not trying to put you down. I'm not saying that that's what's going on, but it seemed emotional it seemed a lot of these responses were really emotional so let me get into this okay since i did this video um i should have done a video about being too nice because i do believe a man can be too nice now follow me if y'all look at the video that i did a couple of days ago about um women liking dirty men well that same girl that i was talking to talking about that liked rugged men. She also told me that, see the guy she's with, he's a priss. He is too nice. He does every single thing she tells him to do. He sits there and he says, oh, I love you so much. I can see us both together. I can, I can see you having my children. us just being married forever. I want to be your husband. I want you to be my wife. When he, when he, they're done making love, or having sex because she doesn't seem to really be into it from what she tells me he spoons her she said he kisses her on the face on her eye on her forehead now listen for all you guys being like what the fuck i thought you were supposed to do that listen not all women like that when she said when they get in arguments he usually apologizes and i'm sorry what can i do to make it up for you what you don't realize is that when you are being that nice, you look like you you're, you look like a doormat. Okay, a woman likes to see confidence, stability in a man, and they love to feel protected by a man. Okay, they don't like a pushover. Women like to get their way a lot but they like you to push back just enough so that they know they got a man. I would say the majority of women are like this. Sarah likes to get her way a lot. In the beginning of the relationship, I was a bull. I mean, bullheaded. You couldn't tell me shit. It was my way or the highway. I was too headstrong. Too strong, too powerful of a man. Couldn't bend me no way. You know what I'm saying? Now, as the relationship went on, I realized I had to have a certain amount of sensitivity without becoming weak. Sarah does feel protected with me. I think she does, at least. I would hope she would. Um, she always tells me how proud she, she is of me as a man and all these other things. So I think she feels safe with me. I think she feels protected. I think she feels as though she has a real man. Hell, I even stink sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real man. You know what I mean? <laughs> but 
that's what it comes down to, guys. And I'm just going to let you know the guys that are really nice. Let me tell you something. I had two instances where I was too nice with girls. One, I land, it landed me in the fucking friend zone because I was too nice. All the signals to take the ass were there. She wanted me to kiss her. She wanted me to have sex with her. I never did it because part of me was a little afraid because she was so pretty to me at that time. I seen her recently. She ain't shit. I ain't been with girls way better than her. And she married, she married some other dude, and I don't give a fuck. Trust me on that. But it landed me in the friend zone. But it was a stepping stone of learning. See, a lot of negative experiences we have in life teach us something. You got to learn from it, though. So a lot of y'all being too nice, if you end up in the friend zone, you're like, what the fuck? Girls always talking about how they like cards, they like candy, they like fucking flowers, they like poetry, they want a guy to open the door, they want a guy to cook for them. I do all that. I lay fucking pedals down to the bedroom, all this shit, and she left me for this piece of shit, this fucking biker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they felt protected. They didn't feel like he was a pushover. They felt like if they were, they were threatened, that he could fuck somebody up, but still be a gentleman. That's what they want. Trust me on this, fellas, trust me. That one girl, there was the girl after her who became my girlfriend. First one I dated for a while, never made me, my, made, you know, we never, we never got together. The next one I got with, um, and at the, end of the relationship, which was really weird, I started to be really lovey-dovey and nice to her. And I don't know what the fuck it was, but it, at that point, something happened and, you know, she just, she, she did me dirty. She just, like, didn't, she distanced herself from me and she fucked up. And years later, she came back and she wanted to be with me. It was funny because I was with Sarah at the time. She starts emailing me, trying to call me. So she called me and I was like, I was a certain way by then, man, shit. When she knew me, I was 22. By that time, I was 35. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> a whole lot of motherfucking changes had happened. I knew just how to handle a woman properly. So, where they knew I was confident, I was nice, but I was no fucking weakling. You know what I'm saying? And the way I am now, I am able to, when I court a woman, I can court her in such a way as to leave her wanting more. Tyrone ain't no bitch no more. I don't play none of that shit no more. I can entice a woman's intellect and her interest and her sexuality. Trust me on this. I am not saying I'm the baddest motherfucker of all time. I'm not saying that. But I've learned how the woman's mind works. All right? So, and she told me on the phone one time. She was like, what happened to that sweet Tyrone? I know. Shit, bitch. You fucking killed him. You fucking shot him dead. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I was reborn. <laughs> As a fucking wear magnus. You know what I'm saying? It's her fucking fault. And I'm glad. I'm glad I ran into her. I'm glad she did what she did. I'm glad that other girl did what she did. Because if they didn't, who knows? One of two things would happen by now. Either I wouldn't have a girl. And I'd be some dumb loser still trying to figure out how the fuck women work. Or... I would be one of those men that would be in those relationships and I'm get see here's the funny thing there are the very very dominant iron fisted men that find women that are very weak minded and they rule over those women they marry those women those women do what the fuck they tell them to do and they treat them like a fucking slave like a doormat and those women are never really happy and you meet men the same way you meet him and it's like, what the fuck? Your wife got your balls in her fucking pocket? The fuck is wrong with you? I meet that all the time in the sales business. Bitch ass men. And the majority of us, sad to say, are bitches. I meet guys that can kick my fucking ass every day of the week, twice on Sunday, but when their woman walks in the room, they're a fucking bitch. You got what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. They're weak minded when it comes to women. And that's just one or two ways. I would end up womanless or with a dominant ass woman running my punk ass. Eh, eh, eh. It ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you learn from this. Yes, you can be too nice, fellas. Doctor, yeah, it, hey, look, if this video don't help you, 
Look at books on relationships. Trust me, it helps. Men from Mars, Women from Venus are the only book that I ever read about relationships, but it really helped me. I don't subscribe to everything the man preaches in that book, but he told a lot of truth. Trust me on this. So, um, yeah, I hope this helped. And stop bullying each other over that damn video, okay? Please, stop bullying you. I don't want to have to block you, you know what I'm saying, for fighting like cats and dogs like that. Um, you know, and that's all I got to say, y'all. Talk to you later.